hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome 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 today i'll be doing a review video so i'm not doing a makeup video today i'm not doing a cooking video today but i will be reviewing some of my favorite scents so it's perfume review day so if you're new to my channel welcome 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 and if you have been with me since day one i say welcome to you as well so let's get straight into it guys with no delays so the first scent that i will be reviewing today is my Nicki minaj pink friday and this is what it looks like and i will also go ahead and try to uh, import a another a pick of the actual perfume because I know when I'm holding it up it's not zooming that clearly so this is what it looks like and as you can see it resembles uh, Nicki Minaj so the bottle is not that big but it's pretty uh, stylish so this is actually 50 milliliter or 1.7 on uh, fluid ounces and this retails for approximately $34.20 now I love perfume I love to smell good uh, the major notes in this scent is or it is actually an intoxicating floral musk that marries sexy with sweet. Now it also states that it is sparkling with the aroma of mouth watering fruits. All right, so if you do want to smell sexy and sweet, you may go ahead and purchase the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday perfume. Now it also states that it opens with juicy notes of star fruit italian mandarin and a blackberry and a raspberry hybrid called boysenberry now it does last all day because uh, i've worn it out and um it does last long so if you are looking for a fragrance that lasts all day or all evening that you're out you may definitely check the Nicki minaj pink friday out and it, the price range is not that bad guys because i've had this for some time now so you can definitely try this out and i'll add another pick of it into the video somewhere on the screen all right so now that we have uh reviewed our first video and guys i wish that youtube had a smell uh button because it smells so good it really smells good mm. it smells good it smells good okay okay enough of that one so we're on to number two so the second one that I will be reviewing is my juicy couture Malibu and this is what it looks like and I'll go ahead and I'll try to add a pic of this one on the screen as well so this is it juicy couture and it's couture la 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 and it's you can see the malibu right there so this is a uh, a nice scent as well this is actually 75 milliliter or 2.5 fluid ounces now mm, and this smells sexy as well it's really nice so let me take my other phone which is what I'm using to guide me along the way so that I can tell you what the keynotes are now for the juicy couture Malibu it retails for $72 and that is 75 milliliter or 2.5 fluid ounces now guys 
if you are into scents like me, what I do is I do have scents that I have been wanting to try. What I do is when I travel, I will check out the stores like Walmart, um, you know, those small retail, not small, sorry, those retail stores, because what they do is when the big stores get the scents, they will actually give these stores some of them and they will be less but the price range is about 60 something to 72 dollars now the juicy couture malibu smells like it is described as having a passion fruit sparkling jasmine and sensual musk so if you like clean fruity scents it's not sweet if you like clean fruity scents, you can definitely check out this one, which is the Juicy Couture Malibu. And guys, it smells heavenly. It smells really good. It smells really, really good. All right. So on to number three, because we don't too, too long. If it is too long, I might have to split it in two because I don't want to go over 30 minutes. So the third scent that I will be reviewing today, and these are some perfumes that I've been using, but I really do like them. So when they're finished, I will buy another one. That is how I am. That is how I am. I re once I like something, I really do like it. So this is my third scent, and it's the Tommy Girl. And this is no new perfume and again I will try to input a pick of all these scents while I'm talking about them so this one is the Tommy girl and it retails for anywhere between 37 and 48 dollars and um, it smell good because I wouldn't be reviewing it if it don't smell good right right so I'm trying to pull it up so i can tell you the key notes or the top note of the tommy girl and it is stated that it is it, it's filled with fiery spicy notes it also contains soft moss sweet vanilla and a milk compost which are the base notes of this soothing fragrance so it's very very nice mm, i'm gonna spray this one and guys when you do go out to um test your perfume you also want to be mindful that your hand might contain some lotion or oils so you might want to wipe your skin of any lotion or oil that you might be wearing from your lotion or your body splash body spray or maybe a deodorant that you might be wearing from home because that will also interrupt and change the smell of the fragrance that you are actually buying or trying to buy so the tommy girl is really nice it's light and nice and this is a fragrance that i've been wearing for some time so as i said if i like something i like it when it is on its finishing i'll purchase another one that's how i am or if somebody asks me what do you want for your birthday i'll tell them a tommy girl or a juicy couture malibu because that is what i like all right so we have completed three fragrance and we're on to number four so my fourth fragrance is my isimiyaki and it's le lehu di isi isimiyaki and this is what it looks like and again i'll try to input a pic of this 
somewhere on the screen because I don't know it's my camera not is not focusing that much and this is 100 milliliter and this is a soft uh, fragrance so the Isimiyaki retails for um, about $65 and it's not a bad buy because it is a 100 milliliter and it will last you for some time all right so the isimiyaki is described to be an aromatic fruity fragrance it possess it actually possesses a blend of yuzu mandarin sage ombre cardamom lodis vetiver um, and it is also recommended for evening wear all right so you can definitely check this one out and it has a very unusual smell it's not that strong so if you're looking for a strong fragrance because you do have some fragrance that when you put them on people smell them before they see you you know, like you're coming around the corner, they'll be like, hmm, smell something fruity or vanilla-y, if that's a word. I'll check that one out. But this one, it smells really, really good, but it's not that strong. So if you like strong scents, I would not recommend this one. It's very nice. It's very light. And I do recommend it. I love it. Um... The ones that I show you that you see have less than half in it are my favorites. So once they reach half, like I barely wear them. I barely wear them. But this is very good, guys, and it's a good buy. You can definitely check this one out. All right. So I'll put this one away so that it does not fall. And we'll go ahead and we will move on to number five. Is my Lolita Lempica. And this is what it looks like. And if you look at it, it's shaped like an apple. I wonder why. And this is where it sprays from. If you look right there, that is where it sprays from. But I love the the uh, packaging of it and it has a art right there see it yeah and guys this is one of my favorite scents i think i'm being biased because all of them are my favorite scents right oh this is really nice so this lolita lempica retails for anywhere between 58 and 67 dollars now the top notes are star anise and um, I'm not sure if any one of you are aware of star anise but it's a very um it's a seasoning really um it can be used to cook with and the flavor is very strong when you're using it you have to use it's it shapes like a star you can break one of the star the pieces off and put it in your pot because if you use all of that it will overpower the dish so you can definitely go do your own research and check what star anise is because what i do is i do research a few of these scents before i do purchase them because i've smelled scents before that i've liked but when I put them on and it mixes with my body oil, because our body does produce its own oil, it don't smell good. Mm -mm. It doesn't smell good. So you can definitely check what works for your body and what mixes well with your body oil or the oil that comes from your body before you purchase any of these scents. Now, uh, the Lolita Lempica retails for anywhere between between 58 to 67 dollars and as i was saying the star note or the top notes are star anise violet and ivy the middle notes are said to be licorice cherry 
Iris, Oris Root, and Amar Amaryllis. Um, it also contains vanilla, praline, tonka bean, white musk, and vetiver. So if you have already checked and you know that things that contain uh, vanilla works well with your body, you can definitely check this one out. It's very nice and it's very strong. I'm still smelling the Tommy girl on my hand. It's really nice. So this here, you can add to your wish list. It's Lolita Lempica. And I'll definitely try to put a pic of it somewhere on the screen. Okay. So we are on to number six. So my number six uh, scent today is called, and I know it's a very strange name, it's called Alien. Alien or Alien, as we Jamaicans say, Alien or Alien. All right. So it's by Thierry Mugler and it retails for about $48. This is a small bottle. Um, this is 30 milliliter or one fluid ounce. So this is for $48. It does come in a bigger bottle, but I do not have it. I do have the smaller one because when you're purchasing things and you live in Jamaica, once it's over $50, you are charged duties on it. So your girl bought a small one to not pay any duty. But this is a really, 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 really nice scent. Um, if you're looking to purchase something that is different, you can uh, check that out. And the price range, as I said, is anywhere from $48 up. If you choose a bigger size, then you know that it will be more than $48. Now, the top notes in the Alien uh are jasmine and the middle note is jasmine i'm sorry and the middle note is woodsy the middle note is woodsy note and the base note is amber so that is woodsy note amber so you can definitely check that out and guys my not tell you not eat that scent Anything we may tell you or show you is what I wear. And take it from me. Them all, all of them smell good. All of them smell really, really good. But what I recommend, as I said before, because our bodies are different, our bodies produce oil. I would definitely, if you do like any one of them, you can definitely stop the video. Google the, the top notes. Google when because let's say you're purchasing a perfume to wear to church you know church will be in the morning to midday you do have scents that recommend wearing them in the night not that you cannot wear it in the day but you do have scents that recommend it be worn in the night if you're going to church try to get one that says best if worn in the day if you understand what i mean nobody is saying if it says wear in the night that it cannot be worn in the day you know that's not what i'm saying but do your own research okay do your own research all right so now that we have completed six we're gonna go on to number seven the seventh uh fragrance that i will be reviewing today is my burberry weekend and this is what it looks like. And this too is one of my all-time favorite perfume. Uh, this is 100 milliliter. Yes, it is. And I like the bottle. The cock may be somewhere on the dresser. But it's without cover right now. It's really nice. 
<clears throat> excuse me it's really nice so i'll definitely go ahead and the the uh perfumes that i'm talking about i'll try to add a pick of them while i'm talking about them now the burberry weekend retails for about 92 dollars it does come in a smaller bottle because i do have a smaller bottle um as i said when i like a perfume when it finishes i will just buy a new one that's just me everybody is different some people when one perfume finish they don't want it again that is fine you are you i am me um the burberry weekend retails for 92 dollars it is described to be a feminine fragrance with a contemporary refreshing citrusy tone it is a sheer fragrance with top notes of tangerine tree sap and reseda plant uh the delicate floral heart notes of wild rose peach blossom iris and hyacinth it also is uh an invigorated by a subtle splash of nectarine so it is very very subtle it's nice but subtle and guys when i put this on whenever i put this on people are always asking me what am i wearing it's very nice and you do not need a lot you just tat one there tat one there i will put it in the what you call right here so right here so off my hand and i will rub it and that is it sometime when i do want to go overboard i might go ch -ch and just poop poop yeah and that is what i will do so you can definitely go ahead and check that out as well you can add that one to your list of fragrances that you want to get yourself if you don't already have that one so the last one that i will be doing for this video because i will be think i'll definitely do a part two um the last one that i will be reviewing for this video and as you can see but don't feel no way i do not feel away i do not feel away is my clinic happy art and this is what it looks like and if i tilt the bottle you will see that i only have a little top sleeve and i don't feel no way because i've been saving it what I will do is save this little tops until I buy another one and then I'll use the little bit in it and then I'll throw it away when the new one comes. But no, I'm a stranger. And that's fine. Everybody is not the same and being strange is a-okay. All right, guys, it's a-okay. So this Clinique Happy Heart retails for anywhere between 45 and 58 dollars so that is 45 to 58 dollars all right so you know that is dollars right and and the prices that i'm quoting is definitely in us i'm not sure what they would retail for here in jamaica but the prices that i've quoted are in us um the keynote in the clinic uh it is said to be of a fragrance of joy it is the essence of a sunny happy morning it says we're happy and be happy it also contains fresh apple plums and bergamot uh, mixed with the fresh air accord as the top notes proceed into the exotic floral heart composed of freesia lily rose and morning orchid uh, musk and amber are also in the perfumes base so if you like things or sense that 
contains amber you can definitely check this out and guys you will not regret this by trust me trust me so i've went ahead and i have reviewed eight fragrances let me know in the comment section which is your favorite let me know which you want to try or let me know which one you will be trying all right and if you do have your favorite scents um you can definitely let me know so i can check that out because even though i do love these scents that i keep buying i'm also up to trying new ones so if you do have a favorite scent i'm trying to get this to focus there it is so if you do have a favorite scent that you like that you want to uh let me know about you can definitely hit me up in the comment section tell your girls so i can try it too i love to smell good and i'll wrap this video up and i'll also go ahead and do a part two so see you in the next one which will be part two and peace i'm out guys